opportunity on the frontier. In the mid-19th century, as the United States expanded westwards, a bold experiment in land distribution transformed the American frontier. This is the story of the Homestead Act and how it reshaped the landscape of the nation. For today's story, we go back to 1862 when President Abraham Lincoln signed into law the Homestead Act. This was a revolutionary piece of legislation that offered 160 acres of public land to any individual or family willing to stake a claim and cultivate the land for at least five years. The Homestead Act of 1862 would span across 30 states and nearly 4 million homesteaders would take this opportunity and run with it. These aspiring homesteaders could acquire some land for free provided they met certain requirements and conditions. So let's dig in to what those conditions and requirements were. Qualify to be a homesteader, the settlers would have to be at least 21 years of age or the head of a household. You'd be required to live on the land, build a house, and make improvements such as clearing fields, building fences, and cultivating crops. Now, this all sounds fairly easy in today's world, but back then, 160 acres by horse was quite a bit to cover. This is one of the reasons why many of the homesteaders had big families and also were always willing to help out the neighbors. Over the five years to the land was yours, these homesteaders would face numerous challenges and hardships, one of them being the weather. It's not uncommon to have a couple dry years back to back, and in the 1800s with no irrigation, it made it even trickier. The farmers that'd be trying to establish themselves during a drought wouldn't be able to feed livestock and keep a good operation rolling. But what were the main reasons that Abraham Lincoln Lincoln wanted this Homestead Act to go into effect. Let's get into it. The main goal was to push economic growth and get people moving west. The American Civil War lasted from April 12, 1861 to April 9, 1865. This would play a key role in the Homestead Act. Southern legislatures feared homesteaders would work to stop slavery in the new territories that they would settle in. The northern legislatures feared that cheap land would lower prices and value of labor. There'd be three times to this previously, in 1852, 1854, and 1859, that the House of Representatives would try passing homestead legislation, but on each occasion, the Senate would defeat it. However, this wouldn't stop Lincoln from signing the Homestead Act into effect on May 20th, 1862. First official person to take advantage of the Homestead Act was Daniel Freeman. His plot of land would be located near Beatrice, Nebraska. Early settlers would start taking advantage of this right away, but it would really get booming after the Civil War ended. Whether it be veterans from the war or more immigrants coming across on boats, they all had their sights set going west. With people beginning to settle out west, small towns would be popping up left and right. This would lead us to May of 1869 when the Railroad Act was signed into law. Getting the railroad into these small towns for supplies helped out homesteaders a great deal. Another way at the time that people could buy the 160 acres if they didn't want to homestead it was they could purchase it for $1.25 per acre. There'd be many homesteaders that didn't make it the five years or even to where they wanted their plot of land to be, whether it be death, famine, or drought. Fast forwarding to 1934, over 1 1.6 million homestead applications were processed and more than 270 million acres, 10% of all U.S. land was passed to the new farmers and homesteaders. The homestead Act would officially end in 1976, but there would be one state that would hold out 10 more years. This would be the wild vast landscape of Alaska going until 1986. This has been a very brief story about how the Homestead Act worked. Let me know down in the comments if you think you could have survived out on the frontier. With that out of the way, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.